What up, what up, people of the internet? This is your host, Fallon, here. We're gonna continue on our quest to find the Baron's wife and then find the Baron's daughter. Oh, dude. Night. Thank you. Yeah, Roach. What's up, buddy, old pal? Yeah. Oh, you do, you ass not your bees. Alright. Get out of here. Slow now. Whoa. Um. Dude, what the heck? Yeah, no, but... There's no indication on my map, my map either, so, um, um, yeah, uh, how? How, how do you want to do? Get it out. A lot of, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of drones. Okay, what the... Let's go. We're on the road. 
Oh, come on. Get up. The markers. Pretty nice. Still day. It is raining. Oh, back up. Damn, dude. Run, Roach. I, I, I honest, I don't know where to go, so I'm just walking in now. I'm happy that there's no, that those markers are there, because I'd be lost right now. I'd be like, uh... Okay, hold on, what? That's it, Roach. Took a wrong turn somewhere. Alright, and I can get rid of my cursor. Come on. I'm 
glad I took a look at the goddamn map. Not so fast, Roach. Oh my god. Halt! No passage! Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. Do I? This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. The Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. It happens, so be it. You may come through. Oh, thank God. Come through. In a hurry. In a hurry. People choke to death. I'm just, uh, I'm going to let my magical horse behind. All of this. Alright? I left my magic force over there. Okay? Boom. What's up, dude? My horse is magical. Magical pony flying through the sky. It's done. Oh. It's done. Sorry, it's raining, of course it's going to be. Got a horse. This is like something good. Sorry, dude. That. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitek sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. It's gonna happen, right? looking for me and who might you be my father send you yeah to see if you're still alive and well I'm Geralt of Rivia I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well Geralt of Rivia better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine and now that you've seen me I bid you farewell wait we've nothing more to talk about got every right to be angry at your father but he's worried about you I have a right Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. You know what? Yeah. You're right. Your father's a jackass. Glad we agree. But in that case, why are you helping him? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well. Now you found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Voitek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. Is that true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire and then that creature leapt from the woods i don't know what it was but it roared so fierce my nose bled i saw it topple trees i've never been so scared in my life and that that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods i wanted to turn back go after them but the horses panicked now i don't even know if she's alive 
What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life. Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. There's nothing about the church. Where are you going to take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. That's fine. Right, this cat has been here the entire time. What are you? Ugh. What was that? Ugh. We were inside his head. Saved myself so much travel, dude. Killed you. I'm wondering. Oh my, I just want to check um, my character. What am I? Level 4. 
Dude. Yeah, well, next time, I'll, uh... Oh, that's my, my, my week. Yeah, okay. I have infinite goddamn... Alright. I should go talk to the Baron Baden's daughter. I definitely fucked up, bro. Oh, nice body of work, my man's got, eh? Not half nice. bad. Brought home a bucket of peelings yesterday. True. The feast we have. He's not scared. Baron finds out someone stealing food. Obvious for cooks. Baron's men whip your ass. Enough office. is enough. Alright, can I add anything? Spar cider for you, or a bit? Like to take a look. Alright. Um. Wait. What?
want some bread, some... No, my inventory is here. Okay, I still have a saddlebag. Good. Yeah, I don't, I don't have those blinders. But I guess those can become useful for like horses here. Lifeless, move it. That's it. That's quite right. Have a long ass trip. But we have five minutes, so um, I, I sleep when. Top of the day. Up the morning, dear ladies. You can have to quite with you. How may I assist you? <laughs> no, I just want to play Gwent with someone. Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. He's at five. But I do this. He falls at two. Yeah, um. Oh, dude, what? Okay, the fuck. Tell me you don't have a car for this shit. Get more cards. Oh, dude, I'm gonna get more cards, dude. What the fuck do you have here? Alright, probably wouldn't be the best play, but. Can I just play this? Just all of it. Bam. 
I won. <laughs> I won the game. Oh, dude, yes. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I won. All right. So I'm going to end this episode here on a victory. We won a game of Gwen for the first time. Ow. Nice. Alright, so I hope you all enjoyed. I've been your host, if I win, and I'll see you.